Hey, Aaron Wilson from KPRC NBC News. Congratulations on joining the Texans. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, yes, how would you describe your style of play? We've seen you do a lot in big games, like uh, the kickoff return and the bowl game or the uh, the Fenway Bowl where you're the MVP and just uh, what you had on special teams. And I have a follow-up. Thank you. I think my game is uh, versatile. Uh, you know, I can obviously run the ball. Uh, uh, I'm a strong runner, uh, see the hole as well. Uh, I got speed, too, and uh, a little bit of wiggle. So I will make some uh, a few guys miss. And um, definitely a, a threat in the passing game as well. Once I get the ball in my hand, you know, I'm a threat. So, Did you have a – visit or a zoom or combine meeting and in addition to the texans did you go on any visits or have private workouts things like that thank you uh no i i had a few uh zoom calls and i met with coach barrett at the combine and you know coach Barrett is a very well he's a good coach and uh we built that bond uh at the combine and uh we talked a little bit after the combine uh pre-draft through zoom and so we built a relationship there, and, you know, we just talked a little bit of ball, and that's all it was. Jonathan? Jawar, um, Jonathan Alexander, Eastern Chronicle, um, congratulations on being drafted. Maybe I you answered, Yeah, no problem. Maybe you answered it with your first question, maybe not, but um, I saw you tweeted that you're a steal of this draft. Why do you believe you're, you're the steal of, of this draft? Oh, really? Uh, not only but I've always been underrated, uh, and uh, people count me out a lot. And uh, even this past season, um, I wasn't on any, uh, you know, the top running backs, and I wasn't one of the top ACC running backs going into the season. But I made my statement, and that's just something I live by, like just making my mark, leaving my mark. And I know that when it's all said and done, I'll be one of the greatest. So. Cole. Cole Thompson, USA Today, Texans Wired. Your war. congratulations on getting drafted and welcome to Houston. Um, I want to get your thoughts on uh, two quick questions. First one, did you watch any of Joe Mixon while you were in Louisville simply because of how close Cincinnati was and what do you think of his game and what he can teach you about playing at the NFL level? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I've watched Joe Mixon a lot, uh, especially when he was at Oklahoma. He uh he played with a few guys that I knew at that school as well. So Joe Mixon is definitely someone that I can um uh, you know just uh he can take me under his wing and I can learn a lot from him. So I'm um, I'm blessed and grateful to be in a room like that with him and you know Coach Barrett and the other guys that can teach me a lot. And then you got to see last season what this offense was, headlined by Offensive Rookie of the Year, C.J. Stroud. What do you think it's going to be like now playing alongside him as a complimentary piece and hopefully that last piece of the offense that could take you to new heights? Yeah, I can't wait. And uh, C.J. Stroud, you know, he did a lot of great things, him in the offense. So I'm just excited to be a part of an offense that's explosive like that. Brian Barefield. Hey, man, welcome to Houston, uh, Brian Barefield, Big Sarge Media, but everybody just calls me Sarge, as you can see by the hat. Um, the first question that that I have for you is your your talent stands out, you know, very, very well. And, you know, people can see the explosiveness that you have, the shiftiness that you have, but your running backs coach, uh, Chris Barkley, says you play the game for the team and not for yourself. Is that something that you were able to get across to the Texas organization when you were able to talk to them? Uh, yeah, I, I think they did their research on how I am as a, a player and a teammate. Uh, like you said, uh, yeah, uh, I always put the team first. You know, I was banged up in the middle of the season, but I, I had the option to, you know, stop playing. But, you know, the team, my brothers, they meant so much to me. And, and we wanted to win so bad, I, I'd do anything for them and, you know, to do what's best for the team. So, you know, I went out there every, each week and did what I had to do. And and when you transferred from Syracuse into Louisville, you were low on the depth chart, but you ended up becoming the starter. 
with where you were picked today and there's the opportunity to play in the NFL, you know that you have to you're going to have to work for your opportunity and your spot here. How much does that fuel you? Oh, that's that's nothing to me. You know, I've always worked my way up from the bottom to the top. So I wouldn't want it any other way. And I'm just extremely grateful and blessed for this opportunity. All I needed, I've been saying to my coach that all I needed was my feet in the door and everything's going to work out how it should. I'm going to take care of business. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Kim Davis. Hey, Jahari, it's Kim Davis from Chalk Talk. Congratulations. Looking forward to meeting you in Houston. Am I saying your name right? Is it Jahar? No, ma'am. It's uh, Jawar. Jawar. Okay. I want to make sure I say it right. Thank you for that. So yeah. what did you know? Um, tell me about your meeting with, you, you talked about Coach Barrett, but what was it like when you met with um, with Coach Ryans and kind of the leadership of the team? How did you feel about it? What, what impressed you? What, what did you connect with most? Uh, just like the the tradition they're making over there in Houston, uh, you know they're building up something great. You know the the found they kind of set the foundation last season, uh, in and off with a great season. So I'm just appreciative of Coach Ryan's, the McNairs, Nick, Coach Barrett, and uh, for believing in me for this opportunity. And I'm just ready to get to work. Have you been to Houston? Do you know much about the city? Uh, no, ma'am, not yet. All right. Well, lots of good food. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Aaron. When you were making the decision to transfer, how, how difficult was it to leave New York? Uh, and how much did that decision wind up setting the stage for where you are today as an NFL draft pick? Thank you. Well, really, uh, just being in New York, uh, I grew up in New York, so I ended up going to Syracuse for college, uh, just something I wanted to do. You know, I played for my home state. And then eventually, like, I, I enjoyed my time at Syracuse. Uh, love, uh, love Coach Babers, love Coach Lynch. But I felt like their team wasn't fitting for me. So, you know, I just talked to my family. Uh, and uh, eventually we just uh, decided that, you know, it was best for me to move on and, find a school that best fits me and my play style. And Louisville ended up being that, that place for me. And, and I'm just uh, super blessed for the opportunity Coach Sashfield gave me, Coach Sims, the opportunity gave me. And then, um, of course, when Coach Jeff Brown came and took over, I was glad he took over. And, you know, he was a great coach. Same with uh, Coach Barclay. He taught me a lot. And um, I'm just grateful for my time at Louisville. All right, we'll close with Cody and Sarge. Hey, how you doing, man? Um, Cody Davis from Sports Illustrated. Um, you mentioned several times on this call, um, you know, the meetings that you had with Coach Danny Berry. Um, from what you from from what you were able to share, how do you think Danny Berry can help you make that transition from college to the NFL? Oh, Coach Berry, uh, he definitely, he, you know, he's gonna push me to my limits and try to make me better each and every day. Like, he's the type of guy that, you know, just, he wants the best from me on and off the field. And what I've seen from what I've gathered from him, he's a very down-to-earth guy. And, you know, he cares. He cares about the game. And even with our uh, interviews with him, uh, he, you know, he made sure that I knew what was going on. And, you know, he helped me a lot throughout the process and kept my spirits up even when I didn't even know what was going on. And, uh, what this process is going to be like, you know, he just kept my spirits up. So he's definitely someone I can't wait to get work with. Go ahead, Sarge. Um, you said in uh, uh, multiple interviews leading up to the draft that you wanted to show teams more of your vers versatility as far as being able to catch out the backfield to run different types of routes. Um, that's, you know, almost required here in the Bobby Slowick type offense. Where do you see yourself fitting in in doing those type of things? And what have you worked on uh, in your training leading up to to help increase those things, improve those things, brother? Really just repetition, you know, just getting comfortable running routes, uh, doing what I need to do to help the team. And, and I'm just ready for it. Just any way I can help the team, I'm just ready. So... I just uh, stayed ready, and I don't know what they or what they're 
expecting from me, but I just know I'm going to be ready for it. And like I said, um, just help the team. Thanks for your time, Jawar. Congrats again. Thank you.